Oh, good afternoon. Uh, back again, Saturdays and EVs. Um, just want to recap a little bit on my uh, electric motor generator project. Uh, been a bit of a hiatus on it. Had uh, foot surgery and finally got back to messing with this thing. And in the process of messing with this thing, I screwed a couple things up. A couple parts on the main motherboard here I screwed up. A couple capacitors had to replace and also a couple of the uh, Olmex boards are dead. Got a couple of replacements and with uh, lots of help and patience from Johannes Hubner uh, I was able to figure out how to reprogram these and get the software back on. Um, required a little bit of brain stretching on my part because this is not what I do but we were success I was successful with the help um, you guys out there on the site too give me a few little tips uh, this board here may still work I'm not sure yet I haven't tested it I did build another one from the one of the kits that I bought and that's what we have up here and we have it connected to this right here. The uh, main power part of this thing under here where the caps are, the I IGBTs, uh, snubbers, drivers, all that was put on a nice uh, water-cooled heat sink that uh, Daniel Perez out in uh, North Carolina put together. Um, I think he kind of messed up putting the uh, inlet and outlet on the bottom but you know what? It's going to work just fine. Um, we'll be able to tap in shallow taps on the outside here to put a cover over this whole thing. I am going to reposition the caps. So, no comments about the caps on where the positions are. Everything's working. Um, everything's just kind of freely sitting up here. have my um, oscilloscope here behind me, which is something new to me too. Um, but anyway... So I got my motor, and what I want to do is I want to put this on a small engine, like a small diesel engine, run biodiesel in it, and run this thing in regen mode, and just run it and generate power and dump it back into a battery pack. And hopefully we can, hopefully we can use just about any pack and it will recognize whatever the size pack is that we have and also be able to put power back into it once it gets to a certain point we'll have a setup where on the inverter once it sees a certain voltage it'll just shut it off it'll send a signal and go eh, don't like it kind of like a temperature sensor but for voltage and I think that's going to be a possibility um, it's also, um, I'm also going to build another one, and the other one's going to be actually for a vehicle, but I'm going to use a little bit higher output IGBTs, so I'm going to have to use the uh, different gate driver than what's on this one, but this setup here would be fine for a small, uh, let's say a motorcycle or a little zoom buggy. Uh, if I decided I wanted to put it in it, this, this motor here is actually pretty nice. It's out of a forklift. It is a nominal 36 volt, but I think we can drive it a little higher than that. I have below me down here that you can't see an AC35, and I noticed that the uh, windings in the AC35 are a little bit finer wire than what this one is over here. So this one is designed for lower speed um, and, and higher torque. So. Anyway, I, I picked it up. It was cheap. It was just something to play with, but I like the design of it. It's got a nice cover on it. It's not like one of those naked AC motors that you get on a, on a forklift, but even so, those would work well because you could probably have somebody custom make a, an aluminum case, cut the inside just the size, heat it up, slip it over the top of that, and just make your own case. Um, and it's possible and make end plates for it because they're, they're naked motors so they just don't have fancy covers on them 
but the interiors are your AC induction. So anyway, um, the issue was before I never had this thing going really fast, but then when I was messing with it, trying to get my inverter going again, I ended up having this motor not strapped down. So I got it strapped down now, but it wasn't strapped down before and I hit that throttle not expecting anything. And off the table this thing went crashing down to the floor. And while it was still on the floor I decided to throttle it up and it still spun up. And then I got it back on the table. I put everything back um, in the software back to what it was and didn't remember what I had done to allow this thing to go fast. Well, I've got it to go fast again, but it doesn't have much oomph to it. And I was only using the little 12 volt battery pack, which is right back here. So I know this thing is capable of it and it's capable of putting it into the motor. I'm still trying to figure that one out, but we do have speed and we do have full control of the throttle. So I have my little foot pedal here and I'll just stick it onto the throttle and I'm just going to turn it right now I don't even have it hooked up to the computer it's just on so I'm just going to turn it a little bit so you can hear it spin up see it spin up a little bit so right now it's going maximum RPM So I can change, change the loads, change, change the speed. Um, it, one of the things that it's doing, don't know if this is something that you guys might know about, uh, any of you guys messing with one of these. When I just turn the throttle on all the way, just crank it up. really slow to crank it up and get get going up to speed and then I can just stop it and it'll stop but at a certain point it just it just freewheels and there's no there's no regen after a certain up to a certain point and then beyond that up it'll it'll stop it to a certain rpm so it is no load so I can't expect a whole lot and I'm not expecting a whole lot I just needed to get to this point where I have throttle control. Also, I was having an issue with uh, noise on the encoder and this thing, which is e -e -e, just really hard to see. So behind me on the oscilloscope back here, um, not sure how well you can see it, but you can, going at a slower speed, you can see the square wave on there. And that's what we needed. get a nice good square wave speed the motor up you can see it I've got it at 64 impressions per per revolution 64 um, per revolution and um, so that's what we have it looks clean um, it doesn't look all jagged. I'll even I'll make that a little bit bigger for you guys. So this is all new to me here. There you go. Nice clean, nice clean output there. So there's a good speed there. And then slow it down.
that's what I've been working on. Um, when I do run this thing, I ran this thing out of uh, juice yesterday, just playing with it on and off, on and off. Um, it does heat up the heat sink. So if I play with it a lot, I'm going to have to hook up the water cooling to it. But I don't have a good pump. So I'm going to pick me up one. Um, I hear that uh, Jack Rickard has a really nice one on his site. A little, uh, little bit, eh, what some people might say pricey, but still within my range, I think, on that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and snag it because all the money I've saved shopping around has allowed me to get a bunch of this stuff to play with. So uh, there is purpose for uh, shopping around or, quote, digging for quarters. Um, anyway, um, I have uh, leaf batteries or leaf modules all around here on the floor, um, getting them balanced. I haven't done anything for, for most of the winter and just now getting back to doing some stuff. And um, hopefully we'll have everything rolling. And I need to make a, a thing so I can hook this up to my little diesel engine that I have. And then... Um, and then we'll see what kind of output we can get. And when we get to that point, we will be doing some more video. Until then, I'll probably be doing just short little videos. And um, just, just as I'm going to help you guys, or you guys helping me, um, figure this crazy thing out. Make sure that the inverter is working good. Um, I'm going to do a little write-up on how to program these little guys so if you guys want and if there's ever any updates you guys can do this and but but one of the things you'll need to do is figure out how to put another operating system on your PC because it took me using my PC and a Linux system plus a little uh, device to put in here now, some people might already know how to get around that um, I didn't um, and I was unable my um, so I bought a little little device to load up one program with uh, from the PC and then shot over to the Linux system which I have I have my PC and my Linux system on my Mac and it works beautifully so I have three computers in one my PC or piece of shit as far as I'm concerned um, unfortunately it is needed um, my actual PC is in my cabinet it's an old dinosaur um, don't need it anymore now that I got it on my Mac because everything I've tested works beautifully um, anyway off of that subject uh, back onto this little guy here so there's rumor that um, there's a couple people working on uh, making this little guy a single board that has this, the uh, Olmex or something similar to it, and the gate drivers all on one board. And then, um, and then just make, make your uh, IGBT and heat sink and slap it all in a box. And I think I think would uh, work just fine. Um, I'm going to be able to, I will be able to fit all this within the boundaries of the block. <clears throat> Though this block is already custom made, so I have to make things fit to it rather than building it to suit what I might want. But I do like compact. That's what I like. So, everything's working. I have good speed. I have good control. Um, I have a good clean good clean output motors quiet um, I like it I'm impressed and um, it does have a lot of torque that's no doubt and I'm running only 12 volts the AC 35 down below um, Got six pins, been trying to play around with the six pins to find an encoder signal. It doesn't look like the encoder was mucked with. 
but I'm not having any luck um, getting a signal, but that'll come. And uh, I know the motor works, so I've already hooked it up to the motor. Everything works on the motor. Um, this motor is designed for a higher, higher voltage. So at the low voltage, it just kind of, yeah. This motor here sings along really well at 12 volts. Um, would probably sing along extremely well at much higher voltage like 96 volts. And, um, but the size motor this is, hmm, one of my thoughts was an old BMW frame. Attach this to the uh, transmission and just run a direct drive shaft from the motor to the transmission and fill the rest of that space with batteries and you get yourself a nice little bike. Um, compact motor and just do a direct drive low voltage system, 96 volt maybe max, and you'll have a kick-ass little bike. So that's that's an option. Um, if you're into hydroplanes or outboard motors, um, you could probably hook this up to an old outboard and uh, have yourself a little AC driven outboard, um, which would probably probably do just fine on a small boat, not a big boat, uh, but a small one has some fun. Um, a lot of different ideas, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, got any ideas or any thoughts on using this as a generator for charging while you are out and about and you don't have any way to charge your car. So I need a good connector. I need a good gearing ratio. Um, going to actually connect. Yeah, I was thinking about connecting it to my Volkswagen. I'm not sure if I want to do that. may just hook it directly to my little uh, diesel engine. Got a pulley and everything already put on it. And um, put my other pulley on this thing and give it a shot. So anyway, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Stop rambling on here and I will talk to you all later. Yeah, there is more to come.